shitty. Hey folks, long town no see. Don't really have much planned, but uh, just kind of messing around with uh, an old melody I've not uh, played in a while. I don't know if you guys recognize that one, but it's a kind of a take on an old classic. <laughs> hey, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Remember that one? I'm trying to, like, I was just kind of noodling with this today. Like, I remember the, uh, you know, how did that theme sound? Something like that, right? the old days bro tune into the chat line hey thanks so much Tanner yeah those were uh, that was some time ago play Thunderstruck <laughs> I don't remember no I don't know So what's new, everybody? Huge fan. <laughs> Who's this beast? <laughs> Rocking the... Look at that. The whipping coast, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I kind of... Uh, I guess most of y'all probably saw, the, saw my uh, I Reddit post kind of decided to just throw out the plan, you know. I've been working on these ideas for a long time and it just wasn't working, man. Like, it just it was too much work. And, like, I wasn't happy with anything, so I just decided, like, throw it all out, you know. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, man. Locust 41, man. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I, you know what? I've uh, I come around and I watch them from time to time too. They've they've kind of they've kind of you know they kind of have a bit of a a life cycle I guess for me like they're a little bit weird. I don't know if they're weird now, but you know they're kind of they're different now. You know they're different now for sure. Well, they're nostalgic as hell, and you know with everything that's kind of happened since then, it's. Uh, yeah. Have I heard of the... What do you think of the Buddhism hotline? Uh, to be honest, I don't know much about it at all. Um, I don't think I've seen it before. Uh, from what I would gather, it sounds like a, a Buddhist religious show. I mean, is it, I'm assuming it's... Is it a, a, like a, a, a troll thing or a joking thing? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, well. Do you know what I get? The messages that I get are super cool, to be honest. Like, as you guys are probably aware, like, the, the chat line hasn't been on and. The lighting, huh? Fuck. It's auto exposure shit. Um. Yeah, the chat line hasn't been on in a while, and, like, the messages that I get still from folks, you know, like, it's, it's strange now, because I'll get these messages saying, like, I, I found the, I found the chat line, or I started watching the chat line when I was in grade 12, or, I'm like, sorry, I was 12 years old, I think was what it was, Some somebody messaged me the other day, I'm like, oh, geez, 12 years old, jeez, <laughs> like, how old are you now, man, crazy, crazy to think, you know. 
<laughs> how long has it been? Has anybody done the math? I don't even know. Like, how long is, has it been since it wrapped up? Like, I don't, I should know, but I don't know. It's been a few years, right? It's been more than five. It's been, it's been more than five, right? Yeah, it's been more than five, I think. Seven years, eight years. Is that about right? Holy Jesus. Six and a half years. Wow. Yeah, and like I've not, I don't think I've been on anything, like any sort of a cast since then. So this is like a pretty big deal, I guess, for me. October 2012. Wow. Counter-Strike, no, not so much. Not so much anymore. Those were, <laughs> those were the days. <laughs> yeah, not much, uh, actually, yeah, not much gaming going on these days. Uh, I, you know, I, I tried Red Dead a little bit. You know, I bought a PS4 just for that. I'm like, I'm gonna try and get into this thing and uh, I wasn't feeling it. They made, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> They made a Freddie Mercury disease movie. They did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they really made that movie. I've not seen it either. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Is this Buddhism... Uh, Buddhism? Is this Buddhism chat line or hotline still a thing is it still uh still a show hey thanks joey um <laughs> well i'm sure there's a lot better uh improvisation improvisationalist than me and steven <laughs> we just kind of uh you know i guess you know what? It just was the. It just we just fell into a groove. You know, at first we had no idea what we were doing, and then by the end of it, we kind of learned the ropes. So <laughs> we got a little bit better at it, I suppose. By the end, <laughs> two pack shaker. Okay, I started watching JC when I was fourteen. Oh man! Wow. Hey, yeah, well, it's kind of interesting to be live, you know. It's uh, had a lot of stage fright about the whole thing, to be honest. <laughs> but I just decided I was going to press the button tonight, so it wasn't really planned. But then I just kind of warmed myself up to it, you know. Yeah, the Vatican guy. What was his name? Signor MP, I think it was. Signor, I don't remember, but yeah, he was a funny dude. But yeah, the bonsai. Yeah, that probably would go down as probably one of my favorite favorites of all time. Or at least the ones that stick with me, you know. <laughs> Racial Harmony, you like that one? Yeah, that was, um, that was uh, Steven's idea, I think. Yeah, he kind of came up with that. He kind of came up with that one. Hans Peter. Yeah, he was. Yeah, <laughs> he was from the media, from the media department of the Vatican. From the media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I, I think I I can't do it anymore. No. I mean, that was just something, and honestly, I, like, I don't even know if most folks know this or not, but I did it like, twice, maybe three times, the, the, the Leroy Sinclair voice. I never, uh, maybe once, or t it's something I used to do when I used to call Stephen from the basement. I'd leave the room and I'd, and I'd call him just to try and get him to laugh or try and get him to, to uh, start laughing on camera. And then um, 
somebody took it somebody took it and ran with it after that and i i couldn't do it anymore i couldn't do it anymore i became the uh the imposter <laughs> it was like a full set sata 2 hard drive make sure it's sata 2 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's funny how how quickly that and Leroy Sinclair, like that name, like that was. I, I'm not sure if you guys know the story or not, but like that, like I got, I just pulled that name. Often, some of the names for things or people are pretty much pulled from real life. Usually, there's some, you know, there's some kind of uh, real life connection with with the names. And Leroy Sinclair was like somebody who I had who I ran into one time, and like I, I'm trying. You know, I just tried to do my best impression of this guy. And that's basically what it was. No one else. Yeah. yeah, that was all him too. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. You know, Le- I was, I was uh, Leroy Sinclair. Yeah, I was at a, I, I, yeah, I'll tell the story anyway. Because it's kind of a funny story. And I want to tell it because it's been a long time. I was, um. This is quite a few years ago when Slayer was playing in, in the city. And uh, I wanted to, you know, meet the guys. or I think I wanted to meet Kerry King, you know. And, uh, you, you know, you'd wait behind the arena. You'd wait behind the show afterwards to try and get a guy's autograph or say, hey, or take a photo or something. And um, as I'm waiting there, <laughs> this, this guy, Leroy Sinclair, comes up to the security guard. This, uh, the bouncer and uh, I guess he's trying to muscle his way through the, the door or something and the bouncers are trying to hold him back you know and uh, yeah he just <laughs> they bounced him but before they bounced him he said you know make sure you tell that Tom Maria make sure you tell Tom Maria that Leroy Sinclair is here to slit his throat <laughs> it was so funny so weird so weird I don't know why that stuck with me after all those years. This is a weird, weird story. Weird character, man. The guy was probably six foot four, 280. This was a huge dude. Yeah, he did. He did the thumb. He did like the Reaper. <laughs> he did, yeah. You tell Tom Maria that Leroy Sinclair is here to slit his throat. Like, holy shit, man. Don't fuck with that guy. Man, yeah, it was pretty weird. Pretty weird time. Well, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I, I kind of figured this, I don't think is it. Like, I'm not going to just be like, okay, welcome to the show, guys. This is, you know, I don't know what it is yet. Um, I just kind of thought, well... Why brainstorm on my own? Like, why not just talk about the ideas and stuff and kind of get comfortable with the idea of doing it again and see what comes of it? Um, because the uh, idea of coming up with a master plan and then unveiling it isn't going super well. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I lift weights, man. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It'd be funny that I'd never know, but it'd be really funny to uh, know that some of those people who had said those lines were still around. You know, like I wonder, like the guy that, like the the lifting weights guy. You know, like I wonder if he just tuned in that one time, you know, for that one call and never thought of it again, or no, or is he like a guy who kind of followed the show, or like it's. I often wonder about that because they've kind of been immortalized <laughs> in some ways. Like the the people like Kel and like some of the, you know, the name people you, you kind of remember, right? Because like they were named and stuff, but like some of the callers, they, you know, they have no identity. So it's kind of like this just shroud of mystery. <laughs> yeah, the weightlifting guy was pretty decent. Um, would you ever get another co-host I don't know yeah I don't know yeah I'm not sure I don't know I really kind of the idea I really have I get a lot of ideas for skits you know 
and I don't ever make them. Not long, you know, like just short two minute bits, three minute bits that I think would be super funny. And a lot of them are still in my head from when me and Steven used to brainstorm over uh, coming up with stuff. Like we we didn't make everything we wanted to make, you know, and some of, some of the ideas were not chat line related at all. And they were, even now, I think they're really, really funny uh, <laughs> and weird, really weird. So I'd like to, you know, eventually, I like the idea of shooting skits. I really like that. And I mean, maybe it's uh, more of a YouTube thing. I'm not too sure, but that's really kind of a fun idea. Yeah, it was road hammers. Jeez, you guys know all the details. Like, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, but it was a guy named Roadhammer. In the meantime, like, you guys know the name more than I do. <clears throat> yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks there, uh, Jack Stack 10. Uh, yeah, that came as a bit of a surprise. Mr. Northwest, good to see you. Um, did you have a chance to watch T-Rucker? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did. Um, a, a few times. You know, I, I would check in and I would laugh at some of the stuff that <laughs> that would that I would see on there. Um, I don't know Ira Cutler, no. I don't know what that is. Um, is that another character on the show? Yeah, F. Thanks, Ronald. F indeed. Yeah, I remember when uh, I tuned in once, and this and Stephen or was his character T? Sorry, T was um, he was telling this story, and I, I still remember this. And this, and this one was really fun. I didn't watch very much of the show, but I I remember what I did. I kind of remembered. And I thought this was hilarious. He was telling this story <laughs> about how he he saw this hipster dude, this hipster character. And he had, uh, you know, like long hair on the top, shaved on the sides or something like that, and a big long beard. And uh, <laughs> he, was, he was telling a story about how he was vaping. And he uh, climbed, upon, <laughs> he climbed up onto this bicycle with the skinniest tires that he ever saw. <laughs> and he drove off while vaping, and he said he looked like a steam, en <laughs> steam engine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was funny. Uh... Did I copyright JCL? Yes, I did. Yeah, there was a time where uh, I did copyright the JCL. Um, and it was, to be totally honest, at that time it was to try and uh, get it removed from YouTube. You know, I was kind of going through a thing and uh, I didn't want it to exist anymore. And I thought the best way to get it removed was to... Uh, you know, me, me and obviously me and Steven had talked about it and um, I told him what I wanted to do and he was supportive of it. So, uh, yeah, I, I got a copyright and thinking that I'm like, OK, let's get this removed because uh, the line started to blur. You know, it really started to uh, that that world bled into my personal life and is um, kind of panicked. I kind of freaked out, you know, and uh, I kind of wanted to kill it. I didn't in the end. Obviously, we didn't. Um, mainly because I couldn't, I think. I think I couldn't. <laughs> but in the end, uh, it worked. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I found peace with it now. But yes, if I'm to answer your question, yes. Yeah, I mean, I could be totally, you know, if I'm right honest, I was like, I want it gone. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm worried. What if this resurfaces later in my life? What is this going to do later? And some of these jokes that I'm making and some of these jokes that the callers are making and like, how is this going to affect me down the road? You know, now that, you know, the, the cat's out of the bag or whatever, right? So I was like, I kind of reacted the way, you know, probably how a lot of people would react. <laughs> You know, like, I'm just a guy. Well, 
my plans for, for Helen back were to kind of have this interactive show. You know, I really didn't, I, I was kind of really getting into, I don't know, tech, I guess, and some of the cool stuff that you can do with, with web. And, uh, I kind of like the idea of like, well, how can you make the show more interactive? You know, and I really kind of like the idea of using technology in that way to try and uh, make the interaction with the show be more than just phone calls. You know, um, I wanted to also have, uh, uh, well, there was a whole, I'll unveil, I'll unveil more of it at a later time. Like I, I had a whole story and I've got some, some storyboards made out of what the, the premise was, but it basically the premise was, and this was all done on my own. I hadn't, I hadn't talked to Steven about this at all. I was going to, uh, kind of write a story around how, um, well, now that I think about that, I just realized how, huh. yeah, never mind. actually, I'm not going to share this story. It's like the, you know what it's like? It's, it's like the funeral episode, you know? It's like, it's easy to laugh at those jokes then. Um, but now, I don't think I want to really watch that one. And I know that there's probably some funny jokes there. It's just, uh, it's, it's a weird thing for me. It's a weird thing. So Anyway, some of the plot points of uh, To Hell and Back involve one of the characters dying and stuff like that. And going to, you know, going to Hell and Back to save your friends, I guess is what it was. But... It's kind of really shitty plot now, or kind of really inappropriate, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I have... I mean, I the puppet's somewhere. The puppet is somewhere. It's funny, the uh, the number of people who don't believe that I'm me, that I must be dead, or that I'm some elaborate imposter that really just knows the details. <laughs> yeah, well, to hell and back will be something. I don't know. You know, it, it may not be. I don't know. The chair? Yeah. Yeah, the chair exists. The chair still exists, yeah. <laughs> Pierce those ears again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear the earrings so much anymore. <laughs> yeah, Landerville. That was me. Well, I like the idea of doing something on Sundays. That was something that, you know, that Stephen and I, you know, it was a great day for both of us back in the day. I don't know if he did it on Sundays or not, but like Sundays, I think is a good day for, for me. Um, whatever it is, it'll, it'll be, it'll be on Sunday for sure. Um, yeah. Do you still get the stick matter? <laughs> you know, I haven't had a nosebleed in a long time. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> what made you two start an online show back in the day? Um, yeah, it was... It was weird. Uh, I, there's this thing called Justin TV. Um, this, this, that... Um, Steven had showed me and he's like, uh, check this out, you know, and, uh, I'd never seen this before. And I was seeing how people would just broadcast their lives, you know, and like just this essentially, uh, but obviously many years ago. And, uh, we kind of like, kind of like trolling, we, we kind of like messing with the people on there a little bit. Like, 
I wasn't ever to get them to get people mad or, or, or uh, you know, but just <laughs> kind of toy with them a little bit. Uh, it just became a hobby that we we kind of did, you know. Every now and then we'd get together and see if we can, <laughs> uh, you know, rumble some of these jimmies, and and then from there we just thought like, well, I don't know, maybe we should try this out, I guess. And uh, yeah, I mean, the first couple of shows that we did, geez, we can get more than five viewers. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, uh, you know, it'd be uh, uh, Stephen wearing, a, I think one of the first ones that we did, it was like he used to wear a, a Corona box on his head and uh, on his face. And he'd wear a bunch of uh, like, like Christmas lights. <laughs> It was like something stupid, like trivia or, you know, like, I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a trivia show or something. Yeah, Bong. <laughs> That's right. Bong Jovi. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Bong Jovi. That's right. That's what he called the character. Uh, it was the name that we saw. We stole that one. We stole that one. We were, that, that's, we saw somebody in the chat line. Sorry, not in the chat line. In Justin TV, we saw somebody with that, with that name and we thought it was super hilarious. And we kind of, we kind of stole that one <laughs> along the way. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, Steven really had a, he really liked jokes like that. He'd really like the kind of wordplay, especially when it'd be people's names. You know, like he, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones he used to laugh at a lot, like, uh, you know, Johnny Depth. He used to, <laughs> he thought Johnny Depth was hilarious. Um, you know, Al Gorgeous. <laughs> he had a bunch, he had a bunch of them that he would just, he would, <laughs> he'd just call me up someday and be like, hey, what about, you know, what about Johnny Depth? Is that funny? I'm like, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> So naturally, Bong Scott, I think, really resonated with him. Let me just scroll up here. Have I ever explained anywhere where you and Stephen broke up? Um... Yeah, I think I have, yeah. Ah, it was never really a thing. Um, there was no moment, there was no big fight. It just it just kind of happened. We kind of just, uh, friendship just kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of grew apart, I guess. Like, things kind of happened that way. Al Capone. <laughs> yeah, I spelled Capone wrong, though. It's P-A-W-N-A-D. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, like, the real, like, I think the real reason why we stopped chatting or we stopped talking was we probably got into some sort of a fight or disagreement about something. Um, but then it just got amplified, you know, especially, you, like, it's funny because I can't imagine what fame is like, like actual fame, um, where you have, like, you know, people with millions of followers on this platform or that platform, but having that many people follow you because like in the small you know uh community even of jesus chat the, the jesus chat line um with the fans of the show and when there's a disagreement you know between us or whatever it's funny how it just gets blown up you know people choose sides fans choose sides or, or, or you know people choose this side or, or that side and, and um uh, and it's funny because, like, I, I try not to read, would, you know, back in the day, I try not to read any of that stuff that people would. But, you know, I'd, I'd be curious also. So I'd kind of Google and see what's going on. And, like, some of this, you know, and I'm sure it went both ways. You know, I'm sure some of the stuff that Stephen would see written about him would be, be like, you know, oh, man, that's not how it is. Or that's not really what it is. Or that's not really what happened. Or that's not really what I think. And, it, it, it you know, it, it really kind of, you know... It gets confusing, you know, it gets, it gets, like, then you get to, it gets in your head too, because you're like, well, I don't know, did, did Steven really say that on a broadcast? I thought we were cool, or did he really do this? And it, like, it's, it's, I can't even imagine, I, I would lose my, I'd lose my mind 
if I'd actually was like proper, like actually a famous person, I'd be, be insanity. But anyway, I guess the whole point of my ramble is like, it's, uh, I think what, you know, the, the disagreement that we had just got blown up by miscommunication. Well, I'm glad that I cheered you up, Ronald. Oh, you want me to say, <laughs> unacceptable. Yeah, actually, I should hit the A too. Unacceptable. No, I did it more quite. I, did, I had a different voice for it, didn't I? I? Hi, this is uh, Richard, and uh, <laughs> and we're we're here to that stutter too. <laughs> we're here to to help make get you get you through, you know. Unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of spit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What we're here to do is to uh provide an outlet. Think of think of it as an outlet where you can call if if you like. Um we've we've got our the phones are here, we've got phones open and <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, that wasn't really my birthday. No, no, my birthday's in last day of June, actually. See, great actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. I definitely like the idea of interacting with, with people, you know, with, with the calls. They're roastful. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think so. I, I do like that idea. I think it's super funny. Um, so I... Interacting this way is cool. Um, I like this kind of, uh, you know, reading what folks are saying and kind of responding, but uh, I do prefer the idea of, like, if it is a show to actually talk back and forth and interact with each other. Hello, caller. Welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. You're live on Montclair Public Access TV3. <laughs> Go ahead. Was that really your dad and Richard's dad episode? Yeah, yeah, that was my dad, yeah. That's true. No, no, we weren't ever really on TV. No, I just... Um, we really tried to sell the idea, I guess. That logo, I don't know if you guys ever saw the Montclair Public Access TV3 logo. That that was... Uh, that was an awesome logo. That was probably my favorite logo <laughs> that we made. <laughs> we spent we spent so much time on that thing. <laughs> I remember all. I remember, yeah, that Stephen really spending time on the three. <laughs> yeah, that's when I had the hair slicked back, Jean Claude Van Damme. Or goddamn. <laughs> um, Aaron, you know, we were just shooting a commercial there for a business, you know, for a hair salon, and we just thought it'd be funny to. <laughs> That's probably why. They, I mean, that is why they seem like they they're not sure what they're saying, or you know, like they're asking Richard for. <laughs> It was just, you know, I think we said that it was like, uh, oh, just to get the nerves out, you know, of being on camera. Just we're going to ask you a couple silly questions just for fun. I don't, they didn't even, they didn't even know. <laughs> What's your favorite two-pack track? Oh, two-pack track. All eyes on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we really should have sold Neon Bibles. We should have made some. We didn't, you know, if I could do it all again, you know, I, now that I know what I know now about it, like, we were not prepared. You know, you never prepared for, I guess you never prepared for something kind of taking off or whatever, but, like, 
we didn't even record our shows. Like we were the two biggest hacks in the in the game. You know, we had no idea what we were doing. You know, and there's it, it's funny because I I'll read sometimes we're on Reddit and folks will be like, you know, the Japan show that's not real. It never happened. Like no one's ever saw the Japan show. It's not real. It's just a a thing. They just they just talk about it. it's like an inside gag. It's like no, it was real. I swear it was real. We did it. We did it in my basement. It really happened. And I can't believe nobody has it or I've never seen anybody record it or have a clip of it. It's just gone. But it was a real thing. Yeah, I still have the Ricky Martin shirt. I do. Yeah. (laughs) Should have wore that one. Uh, I can tell by the by the tone. I sense I sense laughter in the caller's voice. Yeah, Neon Bible is uh yeah it is, yeah. <clears throat> yes, the nosebleed was real. That did happen. Yeah. That just happened on the spot. I kinda panicked and then I uh tried to make sure I got it on camera, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah, all the testimonials were nonsense. No one had any, like most of the people in the testimonials had no idea what they were talking about or or anything. No, no clue. Yeah, they had no idea. Can you talk about why you left the internet after JCL? Why you just come back? It's so many years later. Yeah, I know. I got, you know, I got kind of creeped out of the internet, to be honest. I kind of, uh, you know, the chat line got really big and popular and I, I had been recognized at a few places like in the, in the out and about and that just kind of was like, oh man, kind of kind of creeped me out a little bit. Was the prayer for that guy's penis planned? No, that, that, was, no, that wasn't planned. No, that just, uh, <laughs> that, that, that just happened. <laughs> Yeah, see, Ron, like, they, 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 you know, yeah, Ron was another weird thing. You know, that's, that's another example of some of the weird ideas that him and I, you know, would have where it didn't really fit in with anything. Same like the argument show was just kind of weird, kind of borderlines, borders on like sl- performance art a little bit. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I folks will still ask me for pictures. I'll run into people that will still ask me for a photo if they recognize me from time. Sometimes that happens, yeah. Ron. Yeah. My name's no, how does how was it? I'm fucking Ron. And when I say I'm fucking Ron, I mean that I am Ron. Not that I'm fucking Ron. <laughs> <clears throat> See the argument show was another weird one. Like that was super weird. Yeah, this one idea that we had for a not so much a show but a clip was it was <laughs> and this is really weird. I think it was along like a R- Richard was on top of a like a skyscraper. And uh, he was he was gonna he was gonna jump off he was gonna commit suicide for whatever reason I can't remember what it was, and we we kind of planned we planned out the shoot how we were gonna do it and then he 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 would jump off the roof and each <clears throat> and each uh, each floor that he would you know pass by each window that he'd pass pass by you'd kind of see in the window and and uh, it was like a you know like a different point in 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 Richard and Stephen's lives. So, you know, the, you know, as you kind of go down, they get younger and younger and <laughs> get younger and younger to like the bottom floor where you're, you know, you're just, <laughs> he's just a baby. And we had planned out some really weird, <laughs> some really weird, uh, scenes for each, 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 uh, I guess each decade or whatever, <laughs> whatever it was, as you've Richard kind of fell by the window, you kind of get a, a glimpse of, uh, of some event that, uh, you know, was an integral role of like making him who he is. We had this really weird backstory planned out for. We didn't end up ever shooting it too bad because it would have been really funny. 
Nikki, what's funny about that argument show as well is uh, how much our accents change or our voices change. I think I go from like uh, trying to be Canadian as possible to at some point I've got some sort of crappy Bronx, Bronx accent. <laughs> it's just, they're all over the place. Hey dad, what's going on? Wait a minute. Why won't you respond, mom? Did you plan the South Park call? I don't know which call that is. Uh, that doesn't stick out to me. Can you can you remind me? What happened in that one? <clears throat> My name's fucking John. I like your name. Fucking John. <laughs> Um, that was an editor. Like in real life, you ask it in real life there, uh, Absolute Lunar. Like who is he in real life? Yeah, like he was an editor that we'd work with at a place that we didn't, uh, that we used to kind of make 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 jokes make make jokes jokes about. Uh, no, I don't know. He didn't manage the deuce. That was somebody. That was somebody else. <laughs> Manager of the deuce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that that was from uh, that manager of the deuce was from. That was a uh, a Stephen joke. One sixteen though. All right, probably late. Let's uh, what do you think? Let's shut her down, maybe. Eh? This is Richard Burnish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was another weird one. <laughs> See, yeah, there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of really weird humor that, that I think we, uh, I made a post today on my Insta just a little while ago of this, this image that I made from this stock image. I just, I came across this for this image and I was like, cool, this is really weird. <laughs> it's just, it's not really funny. It's just kind of uncomfortable, I guess. <laughs> I guess I like that edge of being like on the edge of really uncomfortable and <laughs> kind of funny. Well, yeah, well, thanks for checking in, guys. I appreciate that. Like, uh, like um, help, uh, kind of helping me get my, uh, my sea legs back or my casting legs back. Baby stuffs. Baby steps. The peas are popping. Pastor one. Pastor two. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking like a goddamn idiot. I'm the one taking the calls. <laughs> I love those gags too. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, good night. I'll uh, see y'all again soon, huh? Thanks, Joey. I love you guys too. All right, be safe, huh? Till next time. I guess.